Chapter 20. Black Diamond Academy. After breakfast, the butler, Jericho, oriented me around the house first then the grounds outside. The estate was pretty vast, covering over 140,000 acres, in the southwest of the territory. It had plenty of space for wolves to shift and play. After exploring the estate, we went back inside and I walked down the hallway toward Lucas' room. I pushed the door open and he groaned, sensing my presence. This is fancy. I know and I can play all sorts of games in the adjoining room, he grumbled. He was still under the sheets. I threw myself on the bed, crushing him with my weight. Get off me, he pushed me away and I removed the covers from his face. What time did you sleep? I asked. After zero one in the morning. Luca. I couldn't stop playing, your mate got me a PS5 as a welcome gift of a sort. Well, get up and eat something because we are going to town. Why? To explore, plus I want us to check out your new school, I told him, he finally opened his eyes only to glare at me. I don't want to go to school here. I don't care, I smiled, completely removing the covers. He stretched his arms and got out of bed, rubbing his eyes. He went into the Ensoot bathroom and did whatever he was doing while I made his bed and picked up some things. Luca was out ten minutes later, fresh and clean. We went downstairs to the kitchen so that he could eat some cereal or something before heading out but a full English breakfast awaited him. I waited for him to finish while admiring the kitchen, it had an open roof. Let's go. You animal, I commented. Jericho approached just as we reached the living area. He smiled politely at us and gave me a small map. Is the school in this area? I asked, looking down at the map in my hands. Yes, it's very prestigious and the young master will like it I'm sure. The name is Luca, Luca sighed. Yes. So, a drive will take you wherever you want to go, ma'am, I was just thankful that it wasn't Jet again. We went outside and indeed, a tall bulky man was waiting for us, he bowed before opening an expensive looking white car. We left the estate into the quiet town. The area was lovely with white huge cottages away from each other with large gardens, they weren't too many though. That looks nice, Luca pointed at the zoo. We saw a few students walking by, and a police officer in a car. I could tell that the town was organized. There's an ice cream shop, do you want some? I asked Luca, he shook his head. After a few hours, we went to the school. It was prestigious, and grande but a friendly environment. Luca and I shared a glance, I saw worry and uneasiness on his face but he inhaled and it was gone. We entered the building and were directed to the principal's office. Luca still looked thoughtful. Entering the office. The old woman wearing a suit and glasses welcomes us. I give her Luca's school file and she fixes her small round glasses as she reads them quietly. You have a good record, Lucas Wade. Attendance not so good but grades are excellent, she smiled again. Also, these are glowing recommendation letters for a spot on the football team, she commented, reading the letters from his coaches. She finally stood up and straightened her back extending her hand to him, welcome to Black Diamond Academy. After a tour of the school, we left the school and went back to the car. Do you like it? It looks expensive. Can we afford it? He frowned and I ruffled his hair. Yeah, at least this term, and then I will get a job. We can just go to a normal school, like back in the pack, he offered. He didn't want to see me stress especially when it comes to money. I clicked my tongue, I don't think they are schools like that in this town plus this is the only one with an excellent sports program for miles. We decided to walk on our way back, and the cool air felt serene against my skin. I wished I carried a coat too. This place was colder than back home. I have a good feeling about this place, I whispered. Lucas peered at me. Are you trying to convince yourself that? I was convincing myself that. I didn't want to think of anything negative but it couldn't be helped, especially with the mind linking during breakfast, the jargon. 
What about Rachel and Osriel, who were those? The house came into view and the large gates automatically opened. We were sitting in a large modern room with large leaves climbing the walls and a pool table in the middle. I had not received any messages from Wyatt so I decided to text him.